drugs ain't shit. I swear y'all ain't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, motherfucker ain't shit, boy. Hey, Miss Beverly Bates, how y'all doing, Miss Peoples? Uh, Miss Hill, uh, Miss Miss Brown, uh, my boy KC, uh, Miss Boone, uh, how y'all doing, uh, Miss Branch? Oh, boy, that's what I love. Man, I swear to God, boy, I love to come on here and see them soul sisters, boy, them bonafide sisters jumping up here to try to hear what I got to say, boy, because one thing they know, they know I ain't going to come on here telling no motherfucking lie. Boy, don't nobody want to hit me in the mouth, uh, but them old dirty legs, funky ass bitches, and them uh, no good ass, riding ass niggas that don't do a motherfucking thing. Say, what's up with it, man? Uh, say, but listen, I know, I, I listen, I'm finna hurt y'all feelings. I know y'all crying over Kobe Bryant. And y'all crying about his daughter uh, uh, being there. But I'm going to tell y'all that it's unfair to the other victims of that tragedy. I mean, what's good? How you doing, Miss Tucker? Uh, uh, hi, hey, listen, it is unfair. I mean, it is unfair to them lily white folk, man, that died up there with that basketball high-jumping nigga boy. And, and, his, and his little old bitty mixed breed, uh, diversified, uh, 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 mixed Caught your little girl. Pretty little old girl. Pretty little old girl. But I hope y'all been paying attention. I know you ghetto motherfuckers and you you uneducated uneducated motherfuckers and you miseducated hey, and you miseducated motherfuckers. Uh I know y'all go believe the conspiracy theories. Y'all y'all couldn't wait to say uh the uh, Illuminati with the hidden hand is controlling the the, the, the world events. Y'all get out the way. Uh, I'm talking to the folks that 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 they got full brain development. Uh, they got some reasoning and some some logical reasoning. Uh, they got understanding. Uh, and just, hey, what's going on, Miss Brown, Miss Coco Brown, uh, uh, Tanya? Uh, I'm talking to the uh, folks with good sense. Uh, you just can't tell any tell you any motherfucking thing, right? And you can look beyond the surface of everything, right? Kobe Bryant killed this motherfucking self, y'all. I know y'all ain't read nothing. Y'all just going off what you're seeing. Every airplane in California, every, uh, every helicopter in California yesterday. I know it's funny to y'all. I know it's funny to y'all because y'all think everything is funny. Uh, and I may come out funny, man. I'm starting to realize I might be funny. Y'all starting to convince me, man. I might need to go be a comedian. Y'all got me thinking uh, I'm funny in the motherfucker, boy. But listen, and it might be funny the way I'm saying it because comedians know how to take tragedy and make light of it. So listen, right? Did y'all see the fog that we were trying to drive through today? That's the fog Kobe Bryant was trying to fly in. Now I said some things this morning and now some further reports done come out. Man, I must be a prophet. The shit I say, man, I got to be a motherfucking modern day prophet, right? So check this out. The fog that we had today, we couldn't see shit in that fog. Could you imagine this morning when you woke up and left the house in the thickness of all that fog, getting in your car, driving, a hundred miles per hour, or just maybe 80 miles per hour, and you can't visibly see nothing. So imagine that, right? Imagine that. So while you're imagining that, let me explain what happened with that tragedy yesterday, with all those people dying in that helicopter accident. Because of who Kobe Bryant is, not who the other people are. This ain't even about Kobe Bryant's daughter. Because when they when they first reported, only name they spoke was Kobe Bryant. So it's unfair to the rest of the people. It's unfair to them lily white people. It's un they, they ain't never been accused of raping nobody, not that we know of. All he was was a basketball player. He didn't do nothing 
for humanity and didn't give nothing that a legacy to humanity. His only legacy is basketball. He didn't inspire nobody to be a good father. He inspired a nigga to shoot better free throws, better jump shots, play better defense, shoot better three points, dunk the ball better, but he didn't inspire in no other kind of way. That other guy was a coach. Kobe Bryant was the coach of his daughters. He didn't coach nobody else's kids. He coached his kids. So he was selfish with his gifts and his talents. For the least of those is what God said. But let me get back to what I was talking about, right? So as you was imagining, as you were imagining waking up this morning, taking your kids to school, and you saw the thickness of that fog. You couldn't barely see the lights this morning. And you got your kids in the car. You're taking them to school. And you're going 100 miles per hour up the highway. Kobe Bryant and them got in that helicopter yesterday. I done done my research and I do great research. I've read actual just follow me. I don't, let me stay on track. Kobe Bryant and them got in that helicopter yesterday when all helicopters in California had been grounded, including the police choppers. And, and, and y'all must ain't never lived in L.A. The police helicopter live in the air in L.A. Because the fog was so thick and it was unsafe to fly yesterday, every helicopter in L.A. was grounded. But because basketball is a god to these people. Basketball is a god to these people. So Kobe and them got to get in his plane because just 20 miles over, just 20 miles over, it's, the kids got a basketball game. Kobe and them daughters had a basketball game. That's why all the team members was in the game, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the chopper. Kobe always get in the chopper. Well, most of y'all don't know, most people with money, most of the elite people who live in Los Angeles, California, who live in Orange County, who live in Calabasas, it's not uncommon for them to jump into a helicopter to go downtown, to go from Arlington to downtown, or from Arlington to, it's not uncommon for them to do that because the traffic is so congested. The traffic is so congested in the Los Angeles area. So it's not uncommon to jump in the plane when you, I mean, a, in a helicopter just to go 20 miles. Plus, they got a basketball game. They big celebrity. They got Kobe Bryant as the coach. So what they did was they defied nature and they defied the laws of flying. They got to get there. So what the pilot did because it's Kobe Bryant, I'm Kobe Bryant's pilot, we got a, we got a game over there, we got to get the girls to the game. Keep in mind, all of the helicopters was on the ground because it was not safe to fly. But when you've been doing something over, over and even if it's unsafe, even doing wrong, you keep doing it because you think, oh man, you, you think you can keep doing this and getting away with it. You think you can keep doing this, you start taking it for granted. So they took it for granted. Now. A side note is, the airline pilot had an impeccable record of flying. They say he did, he never makes me. He didn't. He was the pilot who didn't make mistakes. If you keep driving long enough, eventually you will have a wreck. If you keep riding a bike long enough, eventually you go fall off. If you keep getting on a motorcycle, riding a motorcycle, you go eventually fall off. Whatever you're doing consistently or you keep doing regularly, eventually, if it's risky, you may risk getting hurt, right? So, peep game. So they get in this plane knowing. So what the pilot does, there are some flying stipulations and some flying uh, aviation rules that you have to abide by. So it's two ways that you can fly. You can fly I forgot the 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 the, 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 the it's, a, it's a term that they use, but the one term is you fly with the beep, the 
thing beeping and you can follow it on the path and it, everything has to be clear. So meaning when you take off, when you look out the window, you have to be able to see your see the ground. 99% of the time, that's how everybody in that air is flying. I'm going to say that again. 99% of the time, that's how everybody in that air is flying. When they take off, you look out the, and you can see the ground. That's the safest way to fly. Most pilots fly that way. There's another way that you can fly when you're in the helicopter, right? This way is the way Kobe Nim requested to fly. They fly low, no visibility, no data, no, no, no computer tracking, and you fly on your own accord, meaning your own flying experience, your own qualitative knowledge. So they said he was an impeccable flyer. They've been doing this all the time. They come, oh man, it ain't nothing. It's a little that we've been flying through this all the time. So imagine going 100 miles per hour in this kind of visibility. And when you get up on some close, oh shit, boom, you hit a car. God damn, man, you should have been going a little slower. So this is what happened with Kobe and them. Kobe and them had to fly low. That video that they showing of them flying, that's the Grand Canyon. That's something, that's something happened another plane. That's in the Grand Canyon. Kobe and them was flying in the complete thickness of fog with no way for them to digitally see where they at. So he was going off his own natural wits as a human. So the speed that you go in a plane is kind of, kind of, and even the helicopter, boy, you're moving kind of fast. And he's flying low. They say when you fly low as a pilot under a certain amount of, 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 of feet, you can become delirious, lose your direction. When you don't, know where you at in the air, you lose your sense of direction. They went up and when they could see, they was running into something. They didn't even see it. They didn't even see it. They didn't even see it. It wasn't horrific. They was doing and going where they love to go. The pilot requested and Kobe Nim requested to fly this way because on the other end of California, just 30 something miles, 20 something miles away, they got a whole gym waiting on them. They defied nature. They defied the laws of flying. They defied aviation rules. One of the experts said they did that in exchange of their lives. Had they flew the other way, they would have been late for the game. Because the other way, you have to get in line. And the other way, don't allow you to fly. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. The experts said the rules that apply to the way that Kobe and them flew allows them to do whatever they want to do in the air. Black people, man, sit back. That's what, when we have police shootings, that's what white people mean. Sit back and gather the facts. Most of y'all, when y'all children come home from school and tell you about something that happened at school that they got in trouble in, y'all jump off what they say and you go up to the schoolhouse looking like a fool and find out your baby lied to you. Man, we fucked up. And we believe everything that come off that white boy's tell lie vision. Because we don't get our information. We not we don't know about no Washington Post. We don't know about LA Times. We look at the first thing at the top of Google. Most of all the bullshit they'll be on the when you Google something, most of the bullshit is at them first seven eight lines, man. You got to go back to the second page to get true stuff. So if you all
all your information come from TMZ, TMZ reports the entertainment side of it. They're going to tell you some facts, but they don't give you the truth. Because it's a narrative point of view that they pitching it from. Kobe and them Brian, man, he did, they did that. They risked their lives as celebrities with privilege. You nor I could have gotten the chopper under those conditions. We would have had to follow the rules. They broke the rules and it cost them their lives. I, he put he put his daughter in there to die. They could have left a little early. They risked it. Many of y'all, many of y'all put y'all kids in the car and risk it. Many of y'all, so how is it? All that boils down to choices and decisions. All that boils down to choices and decisions. Man, I'm not fit to get in that air. And these conditions look like this. No basketball game is that important. No basketball game was that important. But as I was preaching to whatever, as the Holy Spirit gave me to tell y'all something earlier, I told y'all basketball was his God. He served basketball. He spoke four different languages. He ain't never come out into the ghetto and let, could you imagine what, if he just would have went through the ghettos of America and letting Poe children touch him and dribble, he never did that. Come out and inspire us to learn four different languages. He never did that. It was all about a basketball with Kobe Bryant. He wasn't a people's champ like Ali. Ali went out and let the people touch him. Can you imagine Kobe Bryant coming to a 50-city tour and he just coming to show up just to talk to kids? Oh, I've got to hug Kobe Bryant. He never did that. So God got to bring you home. Come on home, baby. Come on home. So while I got all y'all attention, what y'all doing for the kingdom of God? What are y'all doing for God to get another day? Y'all looking at that little girl saying, man, it was too early. Man, don't y'all know babies died at birth? Man, she, was, she didn't live her whole life. Well, how many babies you done aborted? How many babies you done aborted? Because every day in America, 1,600 babies is aborted by Planned Parenthood by way of the Democratic Party. And y'all vote Democrat. And they support killing your black. They put, they put billboards up in your communities for abortion. But y'all don't have no sympathy for the black babies that is aborted. So how y'all gonna have sympathy for the 13-year-old? And listen, li this is what God says. Mama say, the Bible says, that one day, that one day is like a thousand years to God. And a thousand years is like one day to him. So I understand why it says tomorrow is not promised. Nigga, you done lived a thousand years today. So keep in mind, that little girl been here 13,000 years to God. So why not? She been here a long time when you got parents who will walk inside of a clinic and say, get this baby out of me. There were eight people that died in the Alabama explosion today. But because they're not celebrities, we won't know their names. See, you can. Who all died in that plane crash? Kobe Bryant and Gigi? You don't know the name of nobody else. You, you won't even try to remember those white people names. You won't even try to remember that, that white man who died with his daughter and his wife. You just say Kobe Bryant and the rest of the victims. Because you idolize. And mama say, the Bible says, you don't idolize nothing. That God is a jealous God. So all the celebrities should be in fear. All of the celebrities, homie. Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, Jay-Z. Because mama say, the Bible says, God is a jealous God. And you don't idolize nothing because you done made that to God. Y'all idolize these people. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way that you could bear 
the pain and the hurt and publicly display it over a celebrity. And boy, y'all got relatives who've died in your family and we don't know their name. You ain't came to Facebook with their name. That little 16 year old boy that they found in Stop Six over there behind an abandoned building and his body was riddled with bullets. They just threw some clothes on him. They just threw some clothes on him because the little boy didn't have nobody to bring him no pretty suit to put on. They buried him looking like a bone. They buried him looking like a bone. Nobody know his name. Nobody know his name. Can you imagine the children over in the Middle East, America dropping them bombs on them? America, we don't even think about them. On the other opposite end of the world, in this privileged country, nobody cries for America when America goes through something because there's some outside of this border. So God got to be over there with them people. God got to be a we are living good over here in America. His love for basketball, not his love for God. His love for basketball, not his love for God. We don't know what he served, who he believed. And man, God say, tell the world, go bring souls. I'm going to make you a fisherman of men. I ain't send y'all down there to go on them jobs and be stars on them jobs. So, while y'all mourn and select, while y'all mourn and celebrate and, and idolize and, and advocate for all your celebrities, remember, charity starts in the home. Bring some of that love to your own city. Bring some of that love to Fort Worth, man. Start looking out into your communities and looking at the ills and the problems of your motherfucking community. How is it y'all can walk by these schools and know that these kids can't read and we ain't got no program, we ain't got nothing, we, we ain't created no alternatives and no solutions and help provide no resources to the conditions that we are living in here in Fort Worth, but we want to look to every celebrity and cry, 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 cry when when Prince died, Aretha, just just when a celebrity, and man, we don't never mourn what our city. We'll say pray for France. We'll say pray for Africa. We'll say pray for Mississippi. But man, we'll look in our community and say, "Shit, man, that's the mama them fault." Well, that's Kobe fault. He put his, he got his daughter life took, cause he wanted to be reckless in the air to get to a basketball game. I'm not fit to speed to no job. I'm not fit to do nothing reckless to put my kid's life in danger. But because he's Kobe Bryant, all the rules was disregarded. And they defied nature. It wasn't no conspiracy. It wasn't no nothing. Because you know why? Kobe Bryant wasn't doing nothing outside of basketball to make somebody say, man, we need to get rid of Kobe. Y'all have a good day.